Hi, this is Samuel Tansoft, and in this video we're going to talk about how to bring QA closer to development. The earlier you fix a bug, the cheaper it is. Uh, so I'm going to show you a method on how you can involve a QA earlier in development, making sure that they are aware of what's coming in the build and are able to approve things and find bugs early. So the first thing we're going to look at is a workflow and a pipeline I've set up to uh, enable this method. So first, we have a very, very simple pipeline here. It's called feature development. It looks like this. It consists of tasks and a step called ready for QA. And on this step, we have set that the QA approval workflow has to be run. When I look at that one, So this is the QA approval. The first step is that it's in development. From in development, it will go to awaiting approval when the, st the task is done. From there, it can either go to approved, no bugs, or reacted bugs found. And we've also requested that a comment is filled in when somebody reacts a feature. So let's bring up the backlog here. What we want to do in a sprint planning is make sure that we know what's needed in order for this to be accepted. So we've added something called the acceptance criteria here. So let's say that we're going to commit this to our sprint, but we, we have the discussion what's needed. And let's say that well, the user uh, needs to be able to attach message to any location. He needs to be able to edit and delete it and so forth. So that's the first step. The next step is that we're going to decide that this is should be using the feature development pipeline. We're now going to commit this pipe, this item to a sprint like this. And let's close the backlog. So as usually, uh, we're going to break this down and what do we need to do? And I'm going to break down into a few items here. Let's say do this. Do that, and a little bit of something like this. Now we're going to assign all these items to our programmer, John. And what we're also going to do here is that we're going to assign ready for QA to programmer John. And this is one of the first important things. It means that our programmer has to say, well, I'm done. It means that all the tasks and everything that we discussed in the sprint planning is now done and we can test this feature. As you can see here, it's in development right now and not done. So let's move over to our programmer, John, now. Here we are logged in as programmer John in his to-do list. And we can see that he has three new items here, the three tasks we assigned to him. So then we're going to complete these. Complete that one. Complete that one. And complete that one. So now this one appears. And if we look back in the project schedule, it looks like this. The pipeline is ready. And our programmer now will have to say, well, we're done. So I'm going to set it to completed, and it's going to move to awaiting approval. And it disappears from his my work. If we now move into our QA managers, my work, you see that in his to-do list, there's a ready for QA. As a user, I expect to be able to attach a message to a location. So what we can do as QA now is that we can look at the acceptance criteria of this um, feature. 
and then run a test pass on this. Let's say that we find a bug here. So I'm going to move over to the mobile location project and move into the quality assurance component. I'm going to report a new bug. Let's say that the server crashes when a message is added. What we're going to do now is assign this to our programmer John because we know he's responsible for this feature. We're going to set the severity to A. But we're also going to link this to our pipeline. So I'm going to move back to the to-do list, right click and choose link to selected. Now we also requested that we need to put a comment there. So I'm going to open this up and say found bug number three and I'm going to post this. We're now going to say nope it is not accepted, it's reacted, found bugs, and it disappears from my work. So moving back into our programmer John, we'll now see that he has the ready for QA again in his my work, and it's been reacted, and it's not done. We also can see it there's a server crash when a message is added. Sometimes you have a lot of bugs, so it could be tricky to find which one is attached. So I'm just going to open up like this, and I'm going to look down here and say, oh, OK, it's this bug. So I'm going to click Go To, and then it highlights the bug in question. So let's say that our programmer, John, now fixes this issue and resolves the bug. and it disappears from his my work. And he also says, well, I'm done with this one now. Completed, and once again, disappears from his my work. Going back to our QA manager now, he has these two items in his my work, and you can see that this issue has been resolved. You can test and verify that, yep, that works. And he does his run on the whole feature and sees there's nothing, the no more bugs. Let's approve this. And that completes the whole workflow. And if we look in our mobile project now, you see here in the schedule that this whole feature has been completed and it's also completed in the backlog. And we've caught a few issues early on to make sure that we're not stacking up bugs for difficult release. That was all I want to talk about in Agile QA. So thanks for your time. Bye-bye.